What up, everyone? Take a seat, sit down, relax. Welcome back to the Bearded Life, and we are the Bearded Brothers. So what's up? What's going on, everyone? How is everyone today? We are back at what we're doing. Absolutely. What we enjoy doing. Yes, we do. And we were visited by the holiest of holies. The Holy One. We got... Beard of God. Come on, focus. Focus. You know what? You don't want to cooperate. Fine! Beard of God. <laughs> Or the B.O.G. There we go. That's better. So, Beard of God, they are, I guess you would call them a full-on grooming line. Yeah. Um, Because they don't just offer beard products. They no, offer they a little bit of everything. They've got roll-on colognes. They've got tattoo balm. They've got soap. They've got, they're going to have deodorant soon. Yes, they are. And they are an all-natural company. In fact, they advertise that in everything they do. You know, no parabens, no nothing. Everything's all natural, just the good stuff, right? That's exactly as it's put, too. Like, if you look up one of those little things in the bottom, of, it says just the good stuff. So, again, I don't just grab things out of thin air. I quote. Don't, don't do that. I quote. Be to God. Let's get to the facts. Factoids. All right. So the Beard of God is actually meant to be more of a subscription kind of thing, mm -hmm. okay? Because if you do sign up for the subscription service, you save a little bit of money, right? That's how these companies try to get you in with the subscription stuff is that they tell you, hey, our oils are 17 normally. If you do it through the subscription, get it monthly, it's 1530, I think it is, or something yeah. like that, right? And you can build your own little monthly box like you would with most of the other ones who allow you to do this, Okay. But if you decide not to go that route and you decide you're going to just go out and try them one time, the oils are $17 for their one ounce, which is what we have right here. It comes with your a dot. This is not a uh, spray top. It is not. It's a squirt top. Yep. Okay. So in other words, don't kind of just go full force doing it. No, it just kind of puts a drop in your hand basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it's almost like your dropper, if you will, but if you press down hard, it's going to give you a decent sized drop. Yep. So go easy with it when you use one of these. Okay. And they also have a 3.4 ounce beard oil, which is just, that, that's crazy. Man. That's nuts. Two ounces look big. What's like, did you know Luxurious made a four ounce beard oil? No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, 3.4 ounces for $34. Okay, now I know you're all sitting there going, oh my God, the price. 3.4 ounces. Three, that means he's charging like, I don't know, like 10 bucks an ounce? Yeah, around that. Something like that? That's not too bad, right? Relax. Um, bombs, which, do we have a bomb for you guys? Yes, we do. Yeah, we, do. we have a bomb. We have yeah. a, which one is this one? Warm Wraith. tobacco pipe. Also known as Wraith. Yep. We have a bomb. His bombs come in one ounce, two ounce, and 3.4 ounce. Again, 3.4 ounce bomb. That thing's got to look gigantic. Well, we've seen. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, yes yeah. we have. Okay. We've seen bigger. One ounce. That's what she said. One ounce, $10. <laughs> <laughs> two ounce, $20. 3.4 ounce, $27. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing with the butter. One ounce, $10. 2.5 ounces, $20, 3.4 ounces, $27, okay? That covers most of the pricing. Look, I didn't go through the whole site, okay? I didn't do it. I wasn't going to do the roll-on colognes and this and that. They've got all that stuff. I'm focused on your beer, okay? They've also got something kind of cool, though. They've got scent sample sticks, Yeah. which I think is a cool concept. You pay like three bucks, mm -hmm. they send you out the little sample sticks, right? I mean, I would never just order that. Yeah. But if I was ordering for the first time, let's say, and got a combo, I would then throw the sample sticks in mm -hmm. so I could smell the other scent profiles and maybe figure out, hey, 
this is what I want to order next. I like the way this one smells. Ingredients. Okay. You are up, and I'll take the last two. Okay. So, for the bomb, yeah, they really... When, when they advertise it's all natural, you're about to see why. Organic yellow beeswax, organic sweet almond oil, organic shea butter, raw, organic cocoa butter, organic coconut oil, organic argan oil, organic jojoba oil, essential oils, and vitamin E. <clears throat> all organic. For the butter, same thing, all organic stuff, right? Sweet almond oil, avocado oil, Amylum, which again, I know everybody hears those names and they get all it's starch, starch. exactly. Do your research, guys. Okay, seriously, don't let a name scare you. Do the research, find out exactly what these ingredients are. Yep, just because it has a name you haven't heard of doesn't mean it's a bad ingredient, exactly. Okay, hydrogenated vegetable oil, treat okay? with hydrogen again. Same thing, just do your research and you will know that it's something that's going to benefit you. Yep, okay, essential or fragrance oils, and then vitamin E. Okay. Yep. The oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, vitamin E, and essential or fragrance oil. And it's all organic. Okay? So, they are pushing that all organic, all natural mentality, which really, in essence, goes along with the name Beard of God. Yes. Okay? You're saying that what you're putting in these products comes from God, and not in the sense like God made the product. He's saying all the things that God put on the earth is what we're using to, put to make our products. products, okay? They're not using anything artificially created or any of that stuff. It's all natural, all organic ingredients, mm -hmm. okay? So, that's all well and good, but how did it actually work? Amazing. Fan bleepin' tastic. <laughs> the butter... Is hand whipped, okay? Hand whipped and is, oh my god! I'll it's actually give beautiful. you guys a look at the bigger butter we have here. It is beautiful. It is hand whipped, okay? And as you can see, it's very light. I mean, look at that. Like, I'll actually take a little bit here for you and show you something real quick. Check this out. I'm just gonna put that much in my palm. Gone. Okay? Gone. It's so soft, so ridiculously smooth, and it breaks down like like nothing. Just I mean, it probably could have just gone like that pretty much, and it would have been broken down. Like, this oh, is wait. a fantastic butter, man. Second to very few out there. It is very well done, very just nicely made, okay? The bomb is give you guys a look again here a bit stiffer of a consistency obviously it's a bomb okay but it still comes out relatively easy not too much force needed to get a little bit of the bomb out mm -hmm. um i recommend if you if you know if you're having issues with your bomb what i recommend is watch an old snoop dog video he used to grow his thumbnails out so he could crack the dutch thumbnails man Grow them out, scoop bomb out with no problem. Thank you, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Same thing with the bomb, though, boys and girls. Still breaks down just as easy, okay? The oils is probably... Like, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the thickest oil on the planet. It's not. It's definitely a lighter oil, and I know a lot of people... I mean, I, like I'm saying it like it's a bad thing right now. <laughs> so many people love the lighter oils, and I enjoy a light oil. I do. I've just always been more of a proponent of the thicker oils. Yeah. I've always liked my oils a little bit thicker. This one's definitely on the medium, the light side. Um, probably more towards the light, but there's nothing wrong with it. I can't sit here and knock it just because it's not one that I would normally love. Yeah. Okay, it does the job very well. My beard felt great. Okay, um, I didn't really need to reapply or anything like that. Okay, so scent profiles. But we actually have... I believe four for you guys today. Yes, Am I right here? Yes, we have four. We have sandalwood and oud. Yep. We have smoke, which is warm tobacco pipe. 
We have Envy Vanilla Tobacco, which is a favorite around this place. Yes, it is. And Rat, which is Black Coca. On top of that, they also have... So, they have Green, which is which uh, is their backcountry scent. Greed, which is Bay Rum. Jealousy, Cocoa Vanilla. Lust, Dark Orchard. Exclusive, Fabulous. Smooth, which is their French Vanilla. Cannabis Sativa, which is their Hemp Scent. Leather and Steel. Refresh, which is their Mojito Mint. Pride, which is Musk for Men. Exotic Sandalwood and Oud, which we have. They also have Gentleman's Club, which is their Tonka and Tobacco. Their Holiday Scent, which is Twisted Cinnamon. They have an Unscented. Envy, which we have. Dominant Vetiver Stone. Warm Tobacco Pipe. And then Rare, which is their Woodsy Oud Scent. So, we've already touched on most here. Let's touch on the scents real quick that we have in front of you. Sandalwood and Oud. Now, if you guys follow us, you know I am definitely the Oud fan of the two of us. And Sandalwood and Oud isn't, it's not bad, okay? It's not my favorite Oud profile. Um, only because the Sandalwood kind of, kind of takes over. And I don't get as much of the Oud as I would like to in this. All right? Um, their tobacco and vanilla, their envy, well, it's kind of, like, hard to mess up a tobacco and vanilla. Thank God they didn't here. Okay? This is a very nice one. The tobacco comes through beautifully. Um, the vanilla is done just right so it doesn't overpower the profile. Um, wrath and smoke. Mm -hmm. That would be you, sir. That'd be me. That'd be you. Smoke is definitely you. Oh, yeah, definitely me. And it's just like I expected from any other one out there. A fantastically done simplicity at its finest. Amazing. Well, it's tobacco pipe. Exactly. Okay, warm tobacco pipe. Warm when tobacco. I think of warm tobacco, the difference is it should have a bit of that smoky finish yep. to it, if you will. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It should have a bit of that warm aroma that tobacco from the pipes and such like that you're not thinking a cigarette here yep. i think that's what turns off people who yeah. like tobacco scent yep is that they and automatically, they automatically think automatically jump to cigarettes. cigarettes no we're talking pipe tobaccos and things like that that had a fragrance and an essence to them yep. that had that rich earthy smell okay and that's what this is this is a nice profile okay if you like tobacco scents it's definitely worth checking out now, the next one we had is definitely him. I'm not a coconut fan. Oh, this is definitely a man. It smells exactly the way I pictured it. It's a fresh coconut. I'm not a coconut fan. It's literally a fresh coconut whipped up into one butter, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm not and a coconut fan. He hates fan. it, but not I love fan. it. <laughs> Everybody's exactly got their thing. Butter. Everybody has their thing in the world. Cinnamon, coconut? Mm -mm. No, thank you. Definitely a fantastic butter. Okay. Listen. All this stuff is all well and good. Price points, all that. But let's break it down. Let's get to it. Where did Beard of God land on the Bearded Brothers? Bearded Beard Scale. Somebody's going to make that a GIF one day. Okay. Um, the butter is definitely the superstar in this group. Mm -hmm. It is a hand-whipped butter. It is beautiful. It feels amazing. Yes. And your beard will thank you the next morning. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay? If you use butters before bed... You throw this one in, your beard will definitely thank you the next day. Okay? The oil and bomb, they're not bad. I'm not going to sit here and say they're the greatest oil and bomb combo I've ever used. Mm -hmm. But they're not bad. Okay? And it's all natural ingredients. The oil feels good. The bomb, I wish it provided just a little bit more of a hold. A little bit more. Not too much. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm more of a hold kind of guy, though. Like, I look... For a little bit of hold, you know? So, let's break down the points here. Point system. Weird beard scale. Yep. Let's do it. Presentation. I well, think it, I think it looks cool. It also comes with, like, a little sack. And, like, I guess that's for their subscription kit, if you will. Mm -hmm. Right? 
it comes in like a burlap sack. Yeah. Okay. We have a few. Right. We've got a few around here, but it comes in a burlap sack. I like the whole concept of it. You know, beard of God, all natural ingredients yeah, found yeah. around the earth. You know, no chemicals, no this, no that. I get it. It's a nice concept, a good theme. I like it. Right. So we'll give them the point for presentation here. Absolutely. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Feeling beard? Amazing. I, you can't really knock much here, boys and girls, you, you on, on the feel. Like, no, I'm telling you, this butter... You can't. This butter is one of the best butters I've ever used. Yes. Okay? Um, oh, God, man. Not the Corona, I promise. I swear. I'm just... My throat's... I gotta drink something real quick. I'm sorry, boys and girls. Yay. Talking a lot. Ah, okay. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Boom. Scent profiles. I think they're unique. I think they're, they're definitely different. I think they're all okay except for this one. Yeah, in his eyes, I think it's beautiful. I just don't like coconut. I I'm sorry. It. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get why you go to an island resort and people are like, "Oh yeah, give me the coconut drink." Why? It's an experience. It's coconut. Okay, but still. You can go to the supermarket and get a coconut and it doesn't taste good. It's still get, not going to taste good on the island. But can you get the island view? I don't need the coconut to have the island view, though. It's a must, though. No, it's not. Okay? It's not. Scent profiles. They're, I mean, they all did their job as far as the scent goes, okay? Like I said, the only complaint I really had, I'll take away the coconut. I just don't like coconut. The sandalwood and oud, I feel like the sandalwood just kind of took over, you know? Mm. And I just didn't get as much of that oud in there as I would have liked to. That oud stank, if you will, okay? Styling? Um, I'm going to give him a half point. Really? I'll, I'm telling you my opinion, sir. You give me yours. I'm going to give him the full point for it. So then we'll meet in the middle here. All right. We'll do 0. .75. Okay. That's fair. Since... You're at, I'm at a half, you're at a one, we'll meet here. Okay. All right, so do a .75 on the point there. Pricing. Okay. So the subscription service does knock down a little bit, right? Yes. It does. And if you break things down here the right way, right, $20 for a 2.5 ounce butter, which is what we have here, okay? Yep. This is their 2.5. $20 for that, even on a one-time purchase, is less than $10 an ounce, right? Um, the only thing that gives me a little bit of pause, a little bit, is the oil. $17 for the one-ounce oil is a bit... It's a little on this... Little, yeah, little it's bit. Not, we, it's not obviously the most... We've However, seen. this is a pretty original container, too. It is. Okay, this could be why it's a little bit on the higher price end. is because of the container it comes in. Yep. All right? Um, and I'm sure using nothing but all natural, power from free, all that stuff costs a little bit more, too. Yes. Okay? So we're not going to kill them on the price. We'll do the same thing. Yep. We'll give them the 0.75. Yep. Okay? So, now, I know that everybody's like, this is confusing now. Yes, it is. It's not. We did three points. Yep. Right? Full point, full point, full point. Yep. 3.75, yep. add another 0.75, yep. you're at four and a half beards. Yes, you are. I paid attention to math class, sir. <laughs> I did it. So, four and a half for the beard of God. Listen, guys, there are so many awesome companies out there. We get it. It's hard to kind of find all the ones. Well, that's where we come in handy. Yep. We found another one for you guys, all right? Beard of God. Beard of God, and if you have not tried their butter yet, get I'm it. clapping about it. Go try that butter. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> All right. Go try the butter. It's fantastic. Amazing feeling beard. Four and a half beard for the beard of God. We would absolutely love to see what else these guys have coming down the road. I actually want to try the deodorant, so I will be. Okay? But for now, this has been the Beard of Life, and we are the Beard of Brothers. And we'll see you boys and girls real soon.